Yeah. Man, Art at Rome. I mean, I personally huh. have been playing a lot of Art at Rome. I but but that's in ranked, right? I mean, in, in the competitive scene, we haven't really seen a lot of Art at Rome, especially now the CC, I think, is a bit out of it's it's a bit like weird it in this man. composition. There's yeah. In game number two, we saw the CC work amazingly for Royal Milk, but that was up against the Hylos yeah. and the Khalid. There's not a lot of HP bars to deal with here. There's actually more um, damage dealers than there are full tanks, and it's going to be a Vengeance Fovius too, so he should be able to take some of that punishment. It's not revitalized for the Fovius. Man, based on the draft, oh. man, I'm going to have to say, Naisu, I like Falcons draft. Yeah, okay, I'm going to, you know, I know we like to switch it up and call other signs, but I'm going to go with you on this one, man. It's game number four, match point right now for Falcon Esports versus AI Esports. Again, the team that wins this will move on as this is a lower bracket semi-finals. There's only two days for these playoffs here. We'll see ultimates from the side of Falcon Esports and then play into that. But really, when we look at this, also the emblems, the Rome are a lot, man. Like, that is not what I, you know, not what I was expecting. It's very different from what Black has played throughout the series. How do you, what do you think about that? Yeah, um, with the Arlen, oh. it's gonna be a bit different, definitely. Now, Quad Shadow and the Shadow Kill Terrify from PX7! Finding its motion uh, from the previous game. So, we're gonna have level 4 there. Kidex, Lina takes the Minoan Sphere as well. Oh, this is this is a little iffy. This is a little dicey if they want to contest this. It's gonna be taken at half health. Good Minoan Fury, though. PS, gonna be locked down by Minoan Fury as well. Royal Milk, Bane of Time, Eternal Guard, and the Curse Blast! They're not letting PS play the game! Oh, man! I see him so much in the XP lane where you come and you rotate, you, you, surpri you have that surprise factor. Uh oh, Eternal Guard catching on to him. PS locked up and it is Fury again. That is his third death this game. And it's a trade at least. They're finally on. There's Royal Mill displacing the entire backline of AI Esports. So I find it weird. That's why we felt it was odd, right? That pickup, the, the CC pickup. But now, Black Ooh. again this time. The Shadow Kill is going to be enough to take him down. Just some healing there from Kinex. That's how he got the assassination. Benny oh. with a combo under the turret. Alita pours back already. Curse Blast from PX7 to take him down. Minus Fury. Kinex winding two. And now Benny jumps into the back, finding the brilliance, forcing the flicker. And Ying, he can only just use the Vengeance defensively. He can't even get close. Oh, again, I'm just going to say it like I did just minutes ago. You know, AI Esports, everything is going wrong for them. At this yeah. point in the game, they're just getting collapsed from the jungle by a few hundred gold. But really, this is getting pretty pretty dicey because even for Black, he doesn't have anything. You know, he's not able to do much at all. But they want to fight for this turtle. And again, that's going to be a terrifying lock. PS down, PX7 finding the kill onto the turtle. PS can just sustain up. Ying is isolated. And Falcon Esports are just picking up all the scraps from the ground. Ying That's the thing. They're going to continue to put pressure, take resources, because really they can't force much else until that Lord comes up. AI Esports, if they want to contest, I think they just get wiped out here at this point with the type of lineup that Falcon Esports is running, with the type of lead that they have. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to look at some silver lining here for AI Esports, but when you see their lineup, there just isn't much for them that they can utilize here. Even with the fact that PS was their kind of like tanky guy, because he's a you know more of a hybrid instead of an assassin pure. Team fight it out. They dive in. Probably Ying will stay alive, but the rest of them, they're all glass cannons at this point. Holy defense has already popped three. All three of the sides popped in already. Divine Glaive now for Benny. If he wants to make that Ruby DD play, we can certainly do it now with the Divine Glaive. And they can actually just play it as disciplined as they want to, as slow as they want to. They have another wave coming down in the mid lane here. Still gonna be enhanced minion waves. Good eternal oh. guard over to black still. Quad Shadow as well. His own lead away. Slowly but surely just jumping it. at this turret. Not forcing it. They have the potential to die, but they'd rather just take the safe route. And you can see that damage on Ying already! Even oh. with the vengeance! It does not matter! That's what I'm saying! I thought Ying would... Ying could survive, maybe? No. Not even with the vengeance! Ying gets disintegrated, and now they're looking for more Royal Milk. Getting two. Not gonna use the Infernal Pursuit. That is a free base turret in the mid lane with the first Lord. That's another in the bottom lane. They're all gonna focus it down. Oh, I think they still get more of this. So, two turrets down. Are they gonna work for more? Ying's gonna be back up, but man, I... I like, we just witnessed disintegrated understatement at this Ooh. point. I mean, you just, you don't, you're not able to withstand anything. There you go. That's the diamond I was talking about. The shadow kill two black. Still able to survive for a bit. Yang with a sustain. Now could terrify over. When a crowd Lita gets taken out as he tried to save the game, trying to go for the Zaman Force. Black, can he do it? That's only Benny that he finds. Oh. Benny will be shut down by the Infernal Pursuit and Dax with the quad shadow is enough to shut the dreams of AI Esports down. Falcon Esports make it to the next stage. And there you have it. Falcon Esports on a roll from game two, game three, and then game four. And by the time they got to game four, it just looked like they flipped a switch and they just soared, man. What a performance here from Falcon Esports. Once again, gotta be happy about that series. I know, you know, it was a journey, man. That was a, that was a marathon of a series to get through. Even for these players to keep their mental states at this level, to be able to get through this and get to this point and play to that point with the lineups that they had here. Very, very good victory, of course, for Falcon Esports here and all the fans supporting them once again, especially out there in the stadium, uh, you know, at, for AI Esports, I just got to say, you know, it, it was really a draft diff for, for that one. I just, you know, when you looked at the draft, it just wasn't...